pulling. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that was a blow up. Come here, big boy. He's reaping some line. Oh, there's one. Got him. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> I'm going to clip his beak and you get it out. Gosh. Well, what's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Mark, and we are going to do some topwater striper fishing, fishing, for, uh, fishing this evening. And uh, to do that, we're going to be using some new gear that I just got in the mail. We're going to try to break it in and try to break it, as we like to do here on the channel. We want to catch the biggest fish we can and uh, <laughs> just destroy some gear on some big, giant fish. So... Without further ado, we're going to go over some of the gear we got today that we're going to be trying out. Some of the stuff I've used in the past, I know it works, but we've got a special limited run uh, reel that was sent to me that uh, I'm going to try to break. Now, it was not designed for the type of fishing we're going to do with it, but uh, whatever, we're going to do it. So what we're going to be taking a look at here today is this new limited edition Okuma GT reel. It's got this nifty little box here. My hands are covered in stuff. I've been working on the boat. And uh, we're going to open her up and see what she looks like. Whoo, doggy. Look at that. Big daddy. All right, what's this say? What is this? Okuma rise with every challenge. One out of 1,500. All right, be a shame, Okuma, if I break it on the striper tonight. But <laughs> they made this for bass and whatnot, so uh, naturally... I am going to use it on striped bass, so it can, which can get up to about 50 pounds here. So I doubt we'll hook one that big tonight, but you never know. We may get one in the 20s, but uh, she's going to spool this reel with line. We're going to hook up, and it's going to just zoom out 50 yards of line instantly. So let's take a look. It's about a 40 size reel. Ah, uh, maybe a 30. Uh, it's a 30 or 40. I don't know. Get it out of here. Man, it's packed in there. Some shoddy camera work. I'm not a professional, y'all. I'm a professional fisherman, not videographer, but that's what we're looking at. It's heavy too, which I like. It feels like it's made out of all like stainless. Um, really fast gear ratio, which I think is gonna help us when we're working top water on a spinning reel. And uh, I'm not sure how much drag it has, but it feels like a hefty, beefy reel, and that's what I like. I don't like the cheap plastic stuff. like. If it's heavier and just built better, I'm about it because I literally break everything. Um, nice looking power knob right there. Maybe it is designed for some bigger stuff, but uh, we're about to find out. And then over here, we've got the old faithful baby, the Komodo. Let's take a look at, I took one out already. There's one still in here. Let's take a look at it. Woo, it's like Christmas morning for a ginger. Oh baby. Oh, that's beautiful. Now these guys I have used for forever. This is the 470 size, so this is a beast. Um, 25 pounds of drag. Um, this one is a higher gear, gear ratio one. I'm gonna use it for musky fishing, throwing big bucktails and big uh, baits. Um, but let's see if we can go in here. But yeah, this is all stainless steel, all um, aluminum on the outside. The gears are all stainless. Like this is a tank of a reel and I've caught thousands and thousands of pounds of fish on these reels before I ever started uh, working with Okuma. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna put some line on these reels. They sent me some line too. We got some fluorocarbon leader, some 50 pound, and then we're gonna put 15 pound braid on um, this reel right here because we're gonna need line capacity because they're gonna rip so much line. So we're gonna use 15 pound and we'll probably put 150 yards of it like that on there or something like that on there and uh, throw some big old topwater baits for striped bass. Now, I'll show you what those topwater baits are. They're probably gonna be pencil poppers or red fins, something like that. But uh, these fish are just now starting to come off the spawn. We've got mid to low 70 degree water temps. Striper spawn from 60 to 68. So they've been really tough lately, but I had some buddies that were getting some, on some fish topwater, and it's usually around this time every year where these striper get really active after the spawn and the water temps come up. 
and they start chasing bait on the surface uh, below the tailwaters of dams, up in the river, stuff like that. So uh, that's what I'm going to try to do uh, this evening. It's going to be by myself, so we may not get a lot of B-roll, stuff like that. It's hard for me to do that when I'm driving the boat by myself and fishing and catching the fish and doing all other stuff. But uh, we going fishing nonetheless, so I'm going to stop jibber-jabbering and shut my big ginger mouth and uh, spool this stuff up with line, and we're going to go throw some artificials for a striped bass, baby. Stay tuned. We all, we we got to make sure we've got 20 rods, no less than 20. Yeah. No less than 20 or we're not catching any fish. Absolutely. And five bottles of sunscreen. Yes. And Tums, because I ate a bunch of pizza. Yes. So we're, we're ready. Where's that uh, little kid's life jacket? Oh, I got you the big boy one. Oh, oh shit, dude. Do that one, right? Yes. There That's we what go. I need. Dude, we're going shirtless with a life jacket. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is a vibe. Yeah. You know, we're gonna make sure we don't get the melanoma. The hair protects you up front. Yeah. When you're a man. <laughs> oh yeah, it's time to fish, baby. I can't fit in this truck. <laughs> like this. Oh yeah, it's scooted uh, too far forward for you. Yeah. You giant dude. <laughs> well. We starting out bumping. We got a couple of Kuma Komodos for the reels. And the, uh, well, let me make sure I don't fall here. A couple big cat fever bumping rods, baby, love them. I beat the heck out of them lately. Nothing wrong. Caught tons of big fish on, big paddlefish, striper, catfish. We going after catfish today with them. Never know, you could probably catch a striper on cut bait here right now too, so we'll see. We're just gonna put her in the water here and go have some fun. There's a big giant front coming in right now, and we're here before it. We're trying to, we're trying to time it just right to where front's coming in, fish get active right at dusk, and the front's coming in. It could get nuts. That's that's the goal. We on the Tennessee River, baby, going to catch some big old fish. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, and I'm here to catch a big old fish. And you know what I just realized we didn't bring? A net. No net. You know what I forgot? A net. Guns. We do have some fish grips, though. Now we're going to hook a 100-pounder in the boils here. It's okay. Where them fish at, baby? You are gonna get fried. <laughs> it's gonna look like a bra, like a string bikini tan. <laughs> The camo Crocs, cut off shorts, it's a vibe. Belly tattoos. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Lonis, before you get up to the damn bump and you gotta be ready, like to just put it straight in because you ain't got much time. You gotta get right up in the boil. He's got us a double rig cut. And then I'm going to be rocking the double, and he's going to be rocking a single over there. And we're just going to see what they want. If they start hitting on one versus the other, then we'll cut off and start using that one. And we're just kind of experimenting with weights, too. I've got a bank sinker on, he's got a cannonball. First time we've used cannonballs for bumping, but they're very popular on the Mississippi and whatnot, so... We're going to give them a shot. I'm using a couple of 10 aught J-hooks. He's using a big 10 aught. Charlie Brown circle hook. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. There's two gins going. One other person out here, not bad. It's not a madhouse. And we're just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna get hooked up and ready to roll before we even get up there. And uh, we're gonna drop them down. We're starting out with two ounces and we may have to go up to four, we'll see. Just depends on how this flow is going down here. Beautiful double bait. 
big old Mac Daddy catfish will eat that or a striper. And we will see what happens. They've got the right gen on and the far left gen on, so we're going to try to fish this right hand one. I think. Just depends on what way the current pushes us out. Did you put the drain plug in? Yeah. Yes. We getting up here, baby. Up or down. I'm gonna turn on like six and see what happens. 22 feet right here. We gonna let her on down. Fast we going. 1.1. That's not too bad. So guys, the catfish did not want to play bumping and it's the middle of the day. This front is not here yet and it's still kind of bluebird. So we're just killing time. We've got this deep scour hole in front of the spill gates right here. It's like a little hole that goes down to 33, 34 feet. It's pretty shallow everywhere around it. And we're just gonna downline baits straight into it. We're gonna put a couple down with weights on them and then a couple weightless, just as kind of a finesse pre presentation. And we're just going to let our cut bait sit down the bottom of that hole. Drop us a big old head bait down right here. And these fish, when they hit it, are just going to fold it straight into the water. Or it's going to come up because they ate it and they swam up. But hopefully they just slam it and go straight down with it. I think I hit a fish in the head with it, honestly, on my way down. You should catch him. Alrighty, we're gonna put out about six rods, maybe seven, see what happens. Maybe 12. You know damn well it's gonna be 12. We're gonna drop this guy down just totally weightless on the bottom. Or right up above the bottom. No weight. It's gonna be sitting down there floating. She'll slowly sink down. But if they're real inactive and finicky, they'll hit this weightless stuff. For my next act, <laughs> we're just throwing out a fillet on a spinning rod, weightless. Just gonna let her float around and do its thing. See what happens. We out here just chilling now, waiting for the front to come in. And there it is. You can kind of see off to the left here, clear skies and boom, front. Now we're gonna have an activity period here soon, I think, either from the catfish hole we're on right now, on top of, or we're gonna go over there in the swift water and uh, catch striper on top water. We may start bumping for cats again, but it was back up 90 degrees, we were burning up, nothing was biting, so we chilling.
the weightless rig is getting dinked on now. Yes. Eat the bait. Eat the whole bait. It's probably a guard down there destroying it. Man, all the birds are going nuts now. Look at this. That front's coming in. Be watching for uh, stuff to start blow blowing up over there. Okay. Like, it'll be a light switch when it goes nuts. Okay. Those birds were not doing that 10 minutes ago, and we hadn't had a single peck from catfish. That front started rolling in, and bam. Dude, I had it the crap out of it. Huh? Yeah. If you get it in. Yeah. Daggum birds trying to eat my bait. How about you quit? How about you quit? Right here, right here, right here, right here. You see him? Oh, let me get up in there. Throw up in there, throw up in there. Yeah. That was a blow up. He's tearing. <laughs> Heck yeah. That was awesome. You, you throw up there too now. That was a good hit. Oh, he's peeling mine. Heck yeah. Wow, what a hit. Right there, right there. Throw, throw. Oh, Lewis is trying to get one on back there. I got one on. He's digging. Come here. Come here. Come here, big boy. He's reaping some line. Come here. Oh, good one. Yeah. Get some help. Fish grip him. No net. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Good fish. Solid striper, solid top water striper. Yeah, grab that leader. He got that big spoon right in his mouth.
Got him? Yep. Heck yeah. Pick him up in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a tub. Pop. That is a tub. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's a good one. He about 20. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. There we go, fellas. Let me go top water striping right before the storm comes in. I missed like four or five before I finally got this guy. Oh, he wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> Where the bonnet's at? Gonna have to do a little surgery here. Man, he got it. He sure did. He creamed it on the surface. That was awesome. I was surprised I got those fish grips in there with that lure sticking out of his mouth. Yeah. Good one. Oh, he's melting. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right, guys, we back in it. They wanted a slow, just walk the dog. I was just real slow. And that's when he came up and creamed it. That was a, a male, because he was a uh, splooging everywhere. He was just excited to see me. I've got this trolling motor on like eight, just making it sit right here. I'm gonna nuke these batteries. They're gonna have to charge all night, whatever. Front's coming in, Lonus is hooked. How many, two? Two. I've missed three, I think, and then got that one. But uh, we hit them. Pig fishing weather. You're going to. You'll get one. He creamed it on the surface too. I mean, just obliterated it. It was just go boom, and then it was on. I didn't even set the hook. These hooks on this, this is a musky topwater bait. They're just razor sharp. Got an Akuma Komodo 470 size, big old topwater bait, and they're smacking it. Hooked up. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that was insane. It was a little one. But really? Like, yeah. Popped it. Dude, I, was, I was like, just popping, just one, two, stop. One, two, stop. Okay. One, two, stop. <laughs> I heard it bop. <laughs> I saw him eat it and I just said it. Still just a little missed one. Did you see that? Uh -huh. He missed it. Missed him. <laughs> Is that a striper? Yeah, Stupid Osprey. Bird's trying to get it. Look at this bird. Get out of there, dude. What the heck? Caught 
call me Birdman. When they start going, like, there'll be like a hundred of them hitting on the surface at once. Yeah. I can't do anything, I'm shaking. Really? Yeah. Hey, getting your hit. Dopamine to the dome. <laughs> oh, ah, I caught him. Dang it! Alright, came off. But he won't do that again. That one right there, it just got on my bait. Let's see if his dumb butt tries to do it again. I don't think he will. Missed one over there. Throw it way up in there. 100% missed one. Way up at them birds, the blackbirds, cormorants. Missed one, missed one. Who missed one? Did you see that? <laughs> that was cool shit. He's just a little guy. Come here. I'm gonna horse him in. Come here, little guy. <laughs> was that not cool or what? Come here. I got missed like four times on that shot. Take care. Bop, bop, bop. Ah, like. There we go. There we go. See ya. Did you miss one? On you? Right next to it? All right, let's see if I can get one. What'd you do? Did you catch a blue heron? Well, you got the real man. There ain't nothing else you can do. Lonis has caught a blue herring. Oh my God, they're fighting each other. What the heck? Dude. I 
I don't know. <laughs> Lonus has caught a blue herring. Just keep pulling it in. Uh, how are we going to get this off? I don't know, dude. I'm kind of scared of that thing biting me. <laughs> Bring it up here to the left of the boat. The right. Just get him up here. We'll clip his beak with this fish grip. Dude, he just puts his wings out and it's impossible to do Here, I just, I turned it off. I'm gonna clip his beak All right. and you get it out. Gosh. We're all gonna die out here together. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna come off. Bring him over here. Why would. Here. Quit. Get out of here. It's a good group of guys we got out here. Time to go, leave. He said it's actually a good group of boys out here. <laughs> well, we've got two stripers and a blue herring. Yeah, I almost had an osprey. This one? Yeah. Striper? Yeah. Where at? Where at? Yeah. Oh, there's one. Got him. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Sorry to poach your fish. Go right there. <laughs> Put yours up in there. <laughs> Got him. Wow. Is that big no. He's tussling though. He's trying to fight me. I poached uh, Lonis' fish. <laughs> Gosh, blue, he's fighting. Got the right there. Yeah, put it right up in there. This one's fighting now. Gosh, get up here. Gosh, there it goes. Yeah, get yours up in there. Okay, come here. There's another one. That guy. Okay. Well, Lois has got me on the birds. I've got him on the stripers. Quit it. Thank you. 
Can you get another one? Alrighty guys, there's another one. There's another striper, top water. Okay. All right, we're back after him. See if, if Lonis can get one here. <coughs> Sitting right on a current break behind this rock, or this point that comes out. <coughs> and I swallowed something the wrong way. There's one. Get it right up on the bank, Lonis. Right up on the bank. Right up on the bank, my boy. Gosh, there they are. You gotta get it right up on the bank. There you go. Gosh, he's on again. Yeah, they're pushed up right behind that break. Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting. Gosh. You missed one? Oh, this is a good one. Maybe. Ugh. Throw you one up there. Get you a striper. Come here. Come here. Gosh. Top water blitz, baby. Come here. He smoked it. He smoked it. Got him. Another one. Golly, here we go. That's a good one. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah, hold on. Ah! Ah! Oh, he came out. That was a barber. Oh, that about sucked. Now I gotta get this guy unhooked before he hooks me again. Yeah, I'm bleeding. Nice. All right, guys. Here's that one. Whoop. There we go. Another topwater fish. See ya. Oh, it's his turn. Let's hope. <laughs>